if you've ever considered a cheap Amazon Pilot Arc plasma cutter, this may be the one for you. Uh, I've never had a plasma cutter before. I have zero experience with it. I was looking for something kind of entry level price. And I settled on this one from Amazon. Uh, I want to say it's the cheapest one on there with a Pilot Arc function. Uh, this one was $199. There may have been one or two others at 185, but either way, it's still about the cheapest one you can get from Amazon. Uh, this is a high need. It's the PLC 50 DP. It is a 220 volt or 110 volt machine. Uh, 50 amps at 220 or 35 amps at 110. It's rated to clean cut. I believe it's uh, three eighths of an inch. And then, uh, it's max cutting was like half inch or something. Uh, so I just unboxed it, put the thing together. I will spare you the unboxing video. Uh, surprise, surprise, it comes in a box with some packing material around it. That saved us 15 minutes on the video right there. It does have an AG60P gun. Uh, it does have a drag tip already installed in it and a, a guide, you know, to keep you up off of your work. It did come with uh, like eight different uh, nozzles and uh, the tips and the ceramic cup and uh, all to go with it. So it does come with some consumables. I was surprised by that. Some of the other videos I've heard people complain about, you know, the length of the the cord and the length of the torch and, you know, cheap grounding clamps. It's $199, folks. Uh, it is a Chinese product. Uh, you don't expect the best of the best. But to be honest, I'm pretty impressed with these. Uh, so far, the gun, I think it's I think it's like 12 meters or something. To me, that's plenty of length. And the power cord, uh, I mean, it's plenty long enough to get to extension cord. The ground cord looks to be very similar in length to the torch. I don't have an issue with the length, especially at the price point. The quality of the grinding clamp to me is just fine. I don't see an issue with that. Sure, you can get better ones, but I don't have an issue with that. I've made a couple of cuts here with it. Again, I have never used a plasma cutter before. I just freehanded this. I didn't do any uh, straight edge or anything, so it's not dead straight, but uh, the first one here on the left is 3 16th thick material. That was my very first cut. I like it. I think it does a really nice job. Uh, just sliced it right off, no issue at all. Now I've got it plugged into 110 volt, just a normal 20 amp circuit right now. And I've not had any issues. Of course, I've not really used it a whole lot. This is a piece of quarter inch thick uh, powder coated stuff. I want to try out that plasma arc or the, the pilot arc to see about plunge cutting. And uh, I started it you know, right in the center of this coated material and it blew right through it. No big deal at all. Uh, very nice. And again, this is at 110 volt. Uh, I can imagine what the thing would do if you actually set it up on a 220 volt outlet. But anyway, if you're considering the high need PLC 50 DP Pilot Arc plasma cutter, so far I really like it. Uh, I am tickled to death, you know, for $199 that you can get something like that. Okay, we're going to see if we can make a cut here. Get all set up. I am using a, uh, a welding helmet, uh, auto darkening, set on the number nine the lowest setting. Just, I think it's darker than what they normally recommend. From what I've read, a lot of people recommend either number four or number five shade. And uh, people say that they can't see their marks even at that light. So we're gonna try this number nine and see how it goes. I tried it a few minutes ago. I didn't mind it at all. To me, I can see much better than using a, a pair of uh, tinted sunglasses like most people use. Anyway, let's give us a shot. I've got the machine set up. It's on a 110 volt, 20 amp circuit. Uh, I've got it set at 30 amps. And I've got my air pressure set at about 45 PSI. So let's see how this goes. This first piece is uh, 3 16th thick material. Just a uh, regular old steel. Non-coated. Turn it off. 
job really nice. Let's try a guide here and see if we can make this trick cut. Maybe. Air pressure went off. Let me go turn the air on. That's a pretty nice little safety feature. I had cut off the air at the air compressor, thinking I was done for the day, and decided to maybe try to shoot a, uh, a video of actually cutting material, and the machine wouldn't let me cut. It, it wouldn't even uh, run the pilot arc. Because there's no air pressure. Here we go. Let's try it again. Yeah, I'm hanging up on something. I was making a trick cut. I'm hitting the. Where's the mark there, I think? Oh, where the old cut was. Anyway. Cut through 316 just fine. And you can hear the post air going. I've got it set on about eight seconds right now. It's adjustable from two seconds to 20 seconds. Uh, so we cool off your torch. Let's try this uh, quarter inch powder coated material. Maybe we can make straight cut with this. Eh, maybe. See how this goes. Get my ground on here. Even though this is coated material, obviously your ground, you still need bare metal to ground the material. I got it. Needs a little practice. But I got through it and made a pretty nice cut. All things considered.